use my affiliate link to support the channel down in the description so yeah um i think the biggest implications of the tc or the ocg list personally i think a lot of people have already said this though is that like the the uh ocg is gonna likely uh you know give us a l nice little pathway that we can take but like all things considered they've had fire format for six months and this is all they did they put wanted poster to one and they put a kieran to two and snake eyes ash to one or no two that would have been an, actually a hit like a, a hit worth discussing but as it stands i think the wanted poster is really good that card was a free plus one and allowed you to play over droll so you know obviously that wasn't something that necessarily needed to be um in the game i mean the deck was already quite good and didn't need the wanted poster so i think that's understandable teak boot one it's like whatever uh all these other hits are really like just ocg based so i don't really have to talk about them but i think it's like the fire hits and title title will eventually come back obviously summon sorceress will but it's gonna be probably like i don't know i i don't know enough enough about that card and like the errata where if it's gonna be good or not so we'll see what happens with that um i've heard from josh schmidt it might be usable so um we'll see what happens there um and then so i i would love to see one poster go to one i think that's what we're gonna likely see over here it's like we've had that for a bit but for that reason i feel like we're gonna get another month of this format maybe like until may maybe after raleigh um just give us a little bit more time because if they release a list right now it has to be pretty meek right like it's gonna be like basically this list um so it's the thing i think we're gonna end up basically uh seeing the poster to one i if we get a list in 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 march we could genuinely see ash to one but i think that's kind of what will happen uh over here uh no z atlantis ban is kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie that is cool i guess for water players especially with title coming but it would be weird to be weird to ban z atlantis on the same list as title so you know we might not see title come back our next list but z atlantis might be banned kind of thing and if it just skips the list that card's not getting banned apparently until another deck breaks it uh appreciate the channel membership uh portal spirit what's up what's up i appreciate you brother you just you were the 40 you're our 40th member so congratulations and thank you very much for supporting the uh channel yeah we were one member away <laughs> one member away and my man just came in and uh smashed that goal so i really do appreciate it brother brother uh where's my music okay there we go so yeah um and then like the other hits are just all ocg related extrav to two is awkward but like whatever um so i think like over here if we get a listen may we'll see like I, I snake eyes ash to one no branded hits though and we are the branded channel so let's talk the branded implications of this list uh i guess more importantly because like it's pretty obvious that we'll get these hits in the uh tcg just interesting that we didn't get any of the links banned they aren't really interested in banning the links i guess i mean the, the sp lil knight hit is obvious it's not even worth talking about it's that bad um so <laughs> like like uh bad of a, of a design behind putting sp little knight to two so i think that sanctifier did not get banned but they have uh, they have uh expulsion to one or two so they have uh, like branded is in a worse place than the ocg i think objectively speaking i think we are stronger here if like sanctifier gets banned i could be wrong but i think we are still stronger than the ocg in terms of like a deck if you played an OCG versus a TCG branded deck, I think that we would uh, still do well against them. Uh, I think one branded fusion hurts the deck more than a Sanctifier ban. Um, does that mean that Sanctifier can still get banned though? I think on its face. Um, oh, also Portal Spirit, I'll, I'll, I'll give you access to the uh, coaching discord um, after this. But does that mean that Sanctifier is going to get not going to get banned because it didn't get he hit here? I think there is no implication there frankly um because it's just a different format but they still have the puppet lock there and the puppet lock is like easier to make over there in theory like yeah they have like two one branded fusion they can't like necessarily play thrust but they, they can just play kit to to recycle your banished um grand fusion so i feel like thrust is still the play over there and you can just run nadir servant brand sword high spirit lines and you're basically just playing branded still like i, I play i I've been on a 60 card variant, which you guys will see later in the stream if you stick around. Appreciate you guys. Um, 
that my man Raul, shout out to Raul if he's in the chat right now, one of the high-rated uh, dueling book players that we've been talking to, um, he sent me this list with Pod Desires in it, and it's like, I, I never even see Branded Fusion, like, I don't need to resolve Branded Fusion, I mean, I get to Branded Fusion is the thing, so, like, and either Branded Fusion resolves or it doesn't, like, I think it comes up, two Brand Fusion really comes up when, like, they bear and negate it, which sometimes comes up. Where you're just like, oh, you hard negate my brand fusion, activate branded fusion because you can do that. Unlike something uh, uh, like a Baron. Um, fun fact. So yeah, um, I think that in the TCG we could. It's like a 50-50 at this point. I think that it's in the biggest implication is maybe you see the OCG not banning anything. Like I think that Konami is trying to get to a point where they don't need to ban cards. Like obviously, like obviously it's gonna be there, but be more they are being more sparing with it if there's no bans on here, especially. Like this was like this should have been a stronger list, frankly. Like I implicated before or uh, implied before. Um, you know they've been dealing with fire format for upwards of six months, I believe. Maybe even maybe a little less, maybe more. Um, and they just got the new Fire King card, so like Kieran to two is just like. It's really nothing, um, and it's a really good card because of Maxi in the, in the format. Um, so, and then Branded's still great. Like, you see Branded at fifth. fifth is, uh, Branded Despy is the fifth most topping deck in the OCG. You guys will see when we go when we go to that. I'm going to actually pull that up uh, on Road to the King. Um, shout out to Road to the King. But, like, Branded Despy is consistently um, still uh, topping, basically, at like branded despy at 5.7 percent now that's not like the most but it's not the, like that's where we're at right now <laughs> like branded is one of those decks where the deck the deck does great under the circumstance under a uh, good pilot like it very much does like uh, as long as branded fusion is not banned like the deck does not die i think it's kind of like tier elements it's extraordinarily resilient um so We'll talk about the OCG a little bit too. We'll bridge into that and then we'll do some ranked games, guys, of Branded Despia. If you guys have questions too, I will um ask, a answer them, of course. We love to do learning streams here, so I'm here to answer your Branded Despia related questions and such. But let's see, let's see. Uh, Portal Spirit Sanctifier is to one, so people can't say it wasn't hit. That is that is funny. We Yeah, when are we going to start running two Sanctifiers, boys? Uh... Yeah, so Fire King, Snake Eye, Voiceless, Ted Pie, Branded. I mean, you see, like, Fire King, Snake Eye. This is, like, the only relevant fire, uh, breakdown right now because they just got the uh, Fire King uh, exclusive monster. I'm going to have to uh, search it up but um, in a second here. But basically, on, we'll search it up on uh, YG Omega because they will have it. But this card is insane, basically. Um, what is it called? Fire King... Ulacolix. Yeah, and also here's the goo, the goo guys. We're going to add this into the branded list. <laughs> so let's take let's take a look at this guy. Um Fire King Consort Ulacolix. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can destroy one other fire monster in your hand or face up on the side of the field. And if you do, add one fire beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster from your deck to your hand except for Ulacolix. And then you can make this card's level become that monster's if this card is destroyed sent to the graveyard. Um you can special summon one Fire King High uh, Avatar Grunix from your deck in defense position. You can only use each effect once per turn. So I've seen a lot of people like compare this to Neptibus, which is like a really insane card in the water uh, variants with, um, uh, I just got off the card, with like Merlantian, Mermals plus Atlanteans. But this card kind of just like is going to be an, it does everything that the um, Fire King uh, deck needs it to essentially. So it's going to be, it's going to very much, uh, bump up that deck and it will probably become the more dominant variant between it and snake eye once the if that card comes out i don't think it's getting imported in legacy of destruction if it does that's insane but um yeah no i, I wish there were more like i'm trying to find some branded lists here actually because i i do have viewers who have hit me up from the ocg and they're always like talking about just Branded in the OCG, I'm like, the biggest analog is Master Duel, and I was actually going to try to do a Master Duel stream today. We are going to be doing a Master Duel stream pretty soon, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. We are going to be doing Master Duel streams. At some point, um, I do have somebody who is going to be lending me their account, so... Um, let's see, let's see. OCG metagame report, let's see. 
Yeah, we can't find any OCG uh, branded ducks right now. Oh no, we probably have one right here. There has to be one right here. Yeah, we do. Okay, great. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. The uh, OCG branded deck has so many options. Uh, even with branded fusion at one, which is kind of just like why I've always been able to say that uh, branded would be really good uh, still if brand fusion went to one. Even in the TCG, just like, like I think it would be a harder hit for sure, but I think that overall, um, overall, uh, you know, you have things like Grass is Greener, which we don't have, but, like, you can take that out and kind of put in... Uh, and they do have Expulsion, which is just insane. That card just makes uh, Branded Fusion the easiest one-card uh, one card, uh, gimmick lock in the whole world. But there's also Nadir Servant, double, expo <laughs> double uh, Retribution, which is kind of interesting, so you can keep cycling it. They do run the kit, so they can actually get the, uh, pro the, the one Branded Fusion back. Um... We can we can read the um the report actually right here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so why he chose to keep Shadal Beast in the main deck of instead of App Cologne, which we see right here, he does main a Shadal Beast, and he does have the App Cologne right there, so he's able to send that off a of Grand Guignol if he wants for the draw one, um, or also just like off a of Branded Fusion for another plus. Um, he chose to keep Shadal Beast in the main deck. Uh, an app cologne in the extra deck, and instead of the side deck, despite it, despite only running uh, Ariel and Shadal Fusion in the side deck, with only a Luber uh, fetching Branded Fusion as the opener, the standard combo would end with Mirror Jade plus Bestial Lubelion on the field and Albion, uh, the Branded Dragon, in the graveyard. So he's able to obviously get like a Branded and Red in the uh, end phase. One play he could make here would be activate Lubelion and place Brand Loss and Spell Trap Card Zone, and then activate Mirror Jade effect send in titan clad to the extra deck is cost and bashing lubelion uh during the end phase titan clad effect with special summon quem from the deck and the effect would send blazing cartesia to the graveyard i'll be on the branded dragon effect would add uh branded high spirits from the deck and brandon Cartesia or blazing cartesia effect would add itself from uh to the graveyard to the hand um and this kind of gets gets where like uh brand high spirits just becomes an insane card here because I, I do like how how they highlight this road to the king they do wonderful work check out their website shout out to road to the king they, like they make some of the most interesting uh, Yu-Gi-Oh content um yeah, for the ocg for sure but like across spectrums activate brand high spirits and reveal the cartesia from hand and search this and send the grand wignall from the extra deck to the graveyard and then discard cartesia the virtuous to add mercurier from deck to hand uh guiding quem effect would special summon the cartesia from graveyard and during your opponent's main phase you could activate the cartesia uh using itself a mirror jade infusion summon grand guignol uh guignol uh guiding quem effect would special summon mirror jade again from the extra deck obviously then use that a brand loss would add Fallen of Albaz to the hand, and then App Cologne Graveyard Effect would activate because you would be sending that off the Dust Dragon there. You would add Shadal Beast to the hand uh, from the deck to the hand and discard uh, Fallen of Albaz, so you have another thing in the graveyard if you have the branded Rudd still. Um, yo, big congratulations, yo Yuri Diaz in the chat. I appreciate you, my goatee. How you doing? How you going, my man? Uh, branded goat in the chat, Yuri Diaz. Also channel mod. <laughs> uh, Comet Chuck, another channel member in the chat. Everyone coming through like the Avengers. Um, I tried a 60 card list and I got tired of searching through that many cards. Um, yeah, <laughs> the thing with 60 card lists and branded Despia is, is that you're going to end up having a few different things you're going to have to contend with. Like you're not going to see your side deck cards as much. You're probably not going to want main deck hand traps unless you're main decking a wide hand trap package in 60 cards because then you're just not going to see them. Same with the side deck cards. Like if you side in cards, you're just going to see them less at 60 cards. And then also there's just the fact that you're going to have to. Um, it's just harder to shift shuffle 60 cards and, and then also just like paying for 60. You're paying for 20 extra sleeves. So it just like all kind of adds up and makes 60 cards not desirable when you're also considering variants in a 10 8 to 10 round event you're probably going to be like yeah i'll take a 45 card build and be more consistent but like on ladder that's why you see 60 card builds just rip it because you're going to be able to just like run it down and have like the most gas in your build and do stuff that's why we're on 60 card build right now we're testing it and i, I might bring it to a tournament like i think it also rewards skill skill those builds with how much combo like is in it so no disrespect 
Um, yo, those are the lines I already do, says Yuri Diaz. Hell yeah, brother. You already saw the lines. Yeah, Yuri, um, Yuri's an OG branded player, so shout out Yuri. Um, Mir Jade effect can be activated by sending Renbrum to the extra deck again, and then he has another interruption with that, with the Fallen of Albaz and the Graveyard. So I really do like this list. I just wish we had uh, Grass is Greener, and this is why I'm confused the OCG, or the Master Duel list, do not run Grass is Greener. Like, they should be running Grass is Greener. Uh, when we get to Master Duel, guys, we are going to be running Grass is Greener. I don't know if they banned that card yet. Maybe they did. Um... But if it's not banned, I'm going to be running it. Yeah, how are you guys doing? What's it, where are you guys up to? How are you guys? How are you guys' days going? I appreciate you guys coming through to the 4K stream. We're just talking about OCG branded, the implications. I think we're kind of coming to the conclusion. Like, what do you guys think is going to happen with branded on the ban list? We've talked about this a lot before. We've kind of we're kind of beating a dead horse, but I think with the OCG list, like seeing no branded hits is a good sign. No bans is a good sign. But, um, you know, it's going to be left to be seen. Also, this list is running the Branded Sword, obviously. Branded Sword is really crazy because you can get back the Mercurier um, that's banished when you um, combo with uh, your multiple bestials. That, so, like, you can just, you know, pitch Mercurier, banish it off of the Sarnir, and then you can play that way. Or just, like, go High Spirits and then what Shroudion, or Shrouded Dragon also. Um really helps those plays. You see this list also running Maxi. I think, like, obviously, he's running this huge hand trap package. He's running, um, he's running, like, uh, 10 plus hand traps. So, like, yeah, like, you can run hand traps and branded. And, like, I think Yuri Diaz was actually spitting about that in my, uh, group chat before with him. Like, like, hand traps do, are good and branded. Like, I think, I think it's hard sometimes and it's not optimal. I think right now, board breakers are definitely the play for the most part. Maxi Emig in the chat says, I don't like Ash in the main because of Fire Charmer. I completely agree. I actually made a short about this, but Ash Blossom's really bad right now for the most part. I mean, it's still great. It's still a great card. It really is. But like just Hida being able to extend off of it. However, I think with a ban list, Ash is going to actually come back into the meta. You see with the OCG, Snake Eyes Ash to two, Wanted Poster to one with Kirin to two. Um... That means your Ash Blossom gets actually a lot more value there. You know, it definitely does. So I think Ash Blossom actually does get better with a ban list. So right now, Ash Blossom isn't looking too desirable. And I think that there's definitely, like, MBT made a video about this where you shouldn't always just need to main deck Ash Blossom, which I think is largely correct. But also, it's definitely the best hand trap. So it's like, you know. My friend Oscar got top eight with Ash in the main. Yeah, no, shout out Oscar. I think he friend requested me. He had a nice list. I like that list. It was very creative. He had like 60 cards with like three Ash. I think like even with no other hand traps. And I think if that can work if you have a, if you have a nice non-engine package, which he did. So yeah, we see this um extra deck as well, which is pretty interesting. And so far is that we do have the Spry and the Epic Clone, two Gwignol, two Gwignol. I think is actually already standard here, or should be. It's really good. I know I haven't been on it in the past, but I think like. Going forward, you will see you you will see two Gwignol in my builds. And um the app cologne there, I obviously you have the shit all things. It, it extends really well off of Gwignol. And with, in a format with one branded fusion, you can extend off a of Gwignol. It's like Gwignol control, you know? You're extending off a of Gwignol to do a lot of your things. Um to get there to branded fusion to to set up like puppet or whatever you want to do. This this list is not running puppet. Or no, it is. Okay, they are running puppet. And with Expulsion, it's like, yeah, let's get it. <laughs> like, I miss Expulsion, man. Ah, the good old days, you know, of just one card gimmick locking, locking with Expulsion. And also just, like, going crossed out called gim call Gimmick Puppet. And then going Expulsion target Gimmick Puppet and the Panish. Uh, you can take Sanctifier if we get Expulsion back, Konami. Um... Is this a Master Duel ban list? This is an OCG ban list, but this is effectively a Master Duel ban list, and this is going to be actually something I very much base my Master Duel ban list on. If you want a preview of my, what my list looks like, it's basically this. Um, this guy has all the right ideas going on. Maybe I would not be running the Shadal package, but to be honest, 
I don't know what else I'd be running right now. Um, you know, he's not running the Lulu. I think Lulu's really good. I, I think Lulu's actually really good, especially with two Grand Guignol. With the Nadir Servants, because you have two targets then with between Quirtus and Lulu. And you obviously have Quem. Um, I just think, you know, this this version's only running one Quem, which is... That's crazy. One Quem, one Cartesia is... I don't like that at all. I think that's incorrect, but, you know... Because in this format, you don't have you need more ways to play your deck, and these cards allow you to play your deck. I would be maxing these out on three each, I think, um, or at least three and two in a format with two brand with brand infusion. I'm currently on like I think two and two is currently quite standard. I think two and one a lot of people it has was the standard, um, and you still see a lot of people do that, which is fine. Um, especially for, but I think Quem is just such a good card that you want to, you always want to use one of on your turn and then one on your opponent's turn. And then you also want to have it for follow up the crack back, you know, it obviously allows you to loop brand or uh, mirror jade and other cards very easily in the deck. So, uh, I think that that's why that's really good. Also the branded, uh, brand, God branded, uh, retribution is really good. Um, you can also just like recycle that off a of kit. Um, you know, with just just constantly doing that, and you can also do Renbrum plays to like bounce your kit to like reuse it or sanctify your obviously. Like you you can do a lot of neat things with this deck in order to play your deck, which is awesome. So one opening, and that's why I understand. Yeah, what do you mean one? Oh, one Quem Yuri. You, do you think that would be the play? Okay, that is actually understood. But also. I would run three cart, right? I feel like three cart is very free. And like run like alert. Well, they do have grass, so it's like and maxi is draw power, so you know, it, it's definitely a different format and when we don't have the maxi, I think we would be running alert here. I think we would be running alert here with tragedy, you know. Um and then you could either do a hand trap package uh, depending on the format or a, or a board breaker format uh package and then also the um the uh the grasses there's not a great replacement what 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 would be your guys's um replacement for grass in this list for for like a tcg version one red is pretty crazy to me as well with three shrouded dragon but i guess that makes sense maybe with one quem but also you're running grass so like oh since you're running grass i that i guess that explains the two retribution for sure Yuri Diaz, shouts to the trap card on the side he knows. Oh yeah, the Blazing Branded King. Yuri Diaz is like favorite card in the Konami. Give give Yuri a a super rare Blazing Branded King in the next OTS. This is all we ask for. Um and then you see the thrust package, guys, with no fusion with no fusion duplication. It's literally just a thrust package to get to shit all fusion. Or your um, you know, to to get to your uh branded fusion, obviously. Uh, and then the droplets are cool. Two droplets. I think cr droplets insane right now. I think droplet is a one card stop for a lot of decks. Um, I, I will still stand behind that card, but obviously it's, um, you know, your deck's able to do a lot of this. So I, at two, I understand. And then cosmic, I think you need for, for, for continuous trap cards, like summon limit and anti spell. So I, that is understandable. But yeah, um, and then you see one Feather Dust, you're opting not to run the Heavy Storm, but not really too much else to say. I do like the Boral, I think this gives you a nice uh, opportunity to pop back row, and it's really good against Labyrinth. No Karma Cannon in the side? Yeah, no going first. Uh, well, no, this is his going first, but he has Expulsion, like Expulsion does a lot. <laughs> like, that card just plays itself. <laughs> two Phantasmae too with the Ariel. Just makes sense when you're already running the main deck package, so like, that's fine. It just becomes a four four card package, which is nice. No super poly too. Super poly is at two in that format, isn't it? Also, I don't think super poly is quite it is quite necessary right now. But I I would run it like gun to my head. I would run super poly in my deck, <laughs> but my branded deck. But I think that because I think super poly still is great. It's mostly like dodging imperms and like playing around things because it's just it's on it, it's unrespondable so you can really just set up your opponent for disaster with that card it's still good on a lot of boards like set albaz is great and all that fun stuff no should all dragon i would be running that too over like the feather duster but uh, they have runic stun a lot more there you know that i have channel memberships now this is the best way that you can support the channel and get some awesome perks you get access to the hidden discord group chat 
where you get to ask me any questions about your ducks. You get early duck lists, some early videos even, and exclusive emotes to use in the YouTube chat. And you get to duel me once a month. The best part is you get to support amazing branded and Yu-Gi-Oh content going forward. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for the memberships down below. Thanks for watching the video.